Charles, Charles and I said for this men ultimate team, team matchup as we get to be some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, dude. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43 yard attempt. <laughs> and Folk's kick is good. And with that, by three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Left to bring it over here for the end zone. And he stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24.
going. Two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can come. He's thirsty, I guess, and wants to pop. <laughs> Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando. Jonathan Coach will be standing by. I'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Meanwhile, this will not be a failure. It's incomplete. That was an interesting moment. No, no, no. 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 What the fuck was you gone for an hour and a half for them, man? What the from the gun, it's Hawks. Flush to his right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just scared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Second and second. Deep in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net 
negative there at four yards.
It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice little bit, and they're really putting together. On first down, it hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds. Where's my interception at on that same fucking play, huh? Why don't I get one? Dumbass. Keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And it was a completion. Oh, that's just not fair, and that'll end the run. And he'll be out of bounds 
right at the 40. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him at the backfield any way they can. On that top, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. Hurts throw taken in here by Chase. And he'll take this to what the first down. Fuck! Going out of bounds. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people are trying to get to the top of the throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Oh, and this one deep for Judy. And that is caught. He's got it. Seriously. Touchdown. Jerry Judy, 47 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And how about this decision? Tie game, fourth quarter. They want the ball back on the onside kick. Nothing separated these two sides. 24 as he sends this one away.
The Bengals drive about to get going. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They tried to throw on second down unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. He's back to throw. That's complete to Chase. And he is out of bounds with the first down as the clock ticks inside of 30 seconds. Working the sideline there. Good round, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play clock because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the center. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to it. And look what resulted. A touchdown. Tie game. They've got to pick the lead. And it Two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Oh, now you want to kick it deep, right? Mm, fucking bitch. will send this one away after the touchdown. Here's Smith to return it. now at the line ready for their next drive they only need a field goal obviously the clock a huge factor they'll be watching that what they need to do with the Charles. your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds completions get out of bounds gain some yardage then when the clock hits seven seconds or left now you've got a decision are you in field goal range or is it hail mary time because from seven seconds down you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play we'll see how they handle it the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Back to throw. That's complete to Lamb. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left.